back in. We have covered the other two Egyptian gods since they've gotten their brand new animations. God, they, they, they just look so clean. I'm so happy that they finally got their animations. The justice of a god. I already covered Winged Dragon of Ra with the new animation, Ooh. Obelisk with the new animation, but now it is time to cover Slifer the Sky dragon and once again i tried to come up with something a little bit different than what i did in the past and by a little bit different this is a completely different deck now the inspiration for this deck actually just comes from the card revive sky god look at the card art that silent magician right there that slide for the sky dragon right there so i was like you know what i'm gonna make a silent magician slide for the sky dragon deck uh just because the same thing that i did with obelisk i know soul crossing isn't officially obelisk support exclusively but you see obelisk and you see the ashizu card so that's what i did with obelisk I used a uh, obelisk trap Ishizu sort of thing. And now this time with the Slifer support, we are using Silent Magician. And it actually works pretty well because they're kind of similar. Silent Magician gets stronger based off of however many cards we have in our hand. And then obviously Slifer does the exact same thing. So we're using a bunch of Spellbook cards. Spellbook cards allow us to get a bunch of cards into our hand, thus making Silent Magician a lot stronger and Slifer a lot stronger. Silent Magician also has a spell negate once per turn, so that's pretty damn useful. Witch of the Black Forest is basically a guaranteed Silent Magician. You play Witch of the Black Forest, turn it into Artemis, search out Silent Magician, and then bang, you get Silent Magician onto the field. And then all of our Spellbook cards basically just work with each other. Spellbook of Secrets being our best one probably because it searches any Spellbook in the deck, including uh, Magician of Prophecy, who also searches any spell book in our deck. But the main bread and butter of this deck, my main goal, is you'll see True Name in this deck as well. I use this in the Obelisk deck too. And then Spellbook Organization. Spellbook Organization lets us look at the top three cards of our deck and put them in any order that we want. And then obviously that works perfectly with the True Name because True Name just says I have to declare the top card of my deck. And then if I declare it correctly, which I will because of Spellbook Organization, then I special summon Slifer onto the field. Slifer obviously leaves during the end phase, but then we have Revive Sky God, which is searchable with uh, Triple Tactics Thrust. I did throw in a Time Tearing Morganite. Don't know how much use this is gonna get, but the reason I don't have Max C in this deck, I know a lot of people are gonna be like, oh, you are playing Slifer with no Max C. Ah, hideous. Look. I'm different, all right? I'm doing this a little different than everyone else. I'm gonna do my own thing. Basically, Time Tearing Morganite allows us to draw two every single draw phase, but the downside of it, we have no monster effects in the hand, meaning Ash Blossom is dead, Maxi is dead for us after we play this card. Uh, I'm only running it at one of because I can search it with Triple Tactics Thrust. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much the deck. Extra deck is kind of self-explanatory. I don't know if there's any big question marks here, but the extra deck isn't that important. I was debating on adding uh, one of the pot cards because it's not that important, but knowing my luck, this would end up getting, you know, sacrificed. And this is probably our most important card in the extra deck just because of what it does with which of the black forest nevertheless uh that's the deck we're gonna cook if you want to see more Yu-Gi-Oh stuff again i'm gonna try to post Yu-Gi-Oh stuff once a week so tell somebody who likes Yu-Gi-Oh about me to subscribe because i'm trying to hit a million by the end of the year despite how unrealistic that seems to be at the current moment nevertheless enjoy and it's time to cook Sliper. It's time. All right, I'll stop. It's time for the Egyptian god. I wore red. Or Sli Slifer. Slifer the Sky Dragon. All right. Um, and again, like I said in the intro, I mean, it's just very, very simple thought process, man. Like with the Obelisk video, if you didn't see that, make sure you go watch it. I just, I saw in some of the Obelisk support cards or on Soul Crossing, you saw a lot of the, the Shizu cards. So with this one, the Slifer on Revive Sky God, man, we, we, we brought them together and they have similar effects. I mean, based off of the amount of cards you have in your hand, uh, you know, they work well together. Uh, but this guy is playing fish. Fish could be annoying just because, um, <laughs> All right, never mind. <laughs> All right, uh, GG, I'm better than you. Next duel. Honestly, like, I just have this feeling like I'm just never gonna lose. Like, I'm gonna go first. I'm never gonna break, and I'm just never gonna lose. That'll work. Oh, wow, that'll work for me. Oh, goodness gracious, that'll work for me. All right, let's start by playing my Witch of the Black Forest. Yes, and then I am going to turn this into Artemis. And because Witch of the Black Forest was sent to the graveyard, I can search out a card with 1,500 or less defense and add it to my hand. I'm going to grab my Silent Magician. Shh. Silent Magician. 
And then I'm gonna go ahead and activate my Spellbook Organization. I can look at the top three cards of my deck and you guys know where this combo's going. Ooh, I could just grab one of these. I gotta grab Revive Sky God, right? Yeah, we gotta grab Revive Sky God. And then we'll get the other two as well because we'll use Card Destruction. Now we activate True Name. If I can declare the top of my deck correctly, I will be able to special summon a God. All right, uh... What I put that at the top of my deck just now? Oh yeah, duh. Revived Sky God, yes. Revived Sky God, wow, I called it right. Delicious, now I can special summon the new animation, Sniper the Sky Dragon! Ah! Oh, so beautiful. Then we're gonna set. We are going to go ahead and hit this. I'm a little worried about playing card destruction right now. I think I'm just gonna set it. The only reason I'm debating on playing, I, I just don't want it because he could really just get something good. So we're just gonna go ahead and keep it simple. We're gonna keep it nice and simple. And uh, yeah, just gonna end our turn right there. Goodbye, Slifer. You were here for a good time, not a long time. Now again, Revive Sky God, we both draw up to six. So I'm gonna need my opponent to play one card from the, cause he currently has six. So once he plays a single card, then we will respond with the Revive Sky God and both of our cards get supercharged. It's so, be it's poetic. We're just bringing the art to life. Now I activate it. Don't you ever set a card and pass. You can draw one card while I draw five. Fair exchange. Sliper the Sky Dragon. We have to do it quickly because if i just let him like set up everything then he would be able to draw a bunch of cards Ooh, and we got the dirty nasty we got the dirty nasty in our hand oh it's beautiful all right this guy might be a uh floodgate deck i don't know i don't know is he just setting a bunch of stuff oh wait what's this your opponent controls two or more okay put it in attack mode make my day there'd be no reason for him to do that so i don't i, you know, I don't blame him. is it are we just walling up is this your big strat are we just walling up? I actually don't really have back row removal now that I think about it. And we are going to let Slifer go away during the end phase. And then right once he hits the graveyard, we have toggle on so we can activate this. And then we just search out Monster Reborn, add it to the hand. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Now, in the event he has any face down spell cards, I'm just gonna go ahead and frame one, activate Secret Village, and, uh, you know, hope it ruins his day. All right, Sacred, Sacred, Secret Village. All right, we can do, we can do quite a bit here. All right, let's go ahead and just play, do I wanna just bring out Slifer? No, cause I can't win with Slifer just yet. Play prophecy oh he has a solemn judgment he has a solemn judgment i can tell because you can just tell by the way that the toggle works he has a solemn judgment we're actually gonna just grab spellbook of judgment because we can draw so many cards off of this so let's go ahead and grab that we will be able to grab spellbook cards for every spellbook card that's activated after we activate this all right sounds complicated but yeah and we are gonna go ahead and play spellbook of secrets you are going to get cooked. Actually, I'm really afraid of his back row. I, I genuinely don't know if I'm gonna be able to handle his back row just yet. I probably should grab Spellbook of Fate, but my heart's kind of telling me Spellbook Organization. Am I crazy? I'm gonna grab it. The reason is because now if I play Spellbook of Knowledge, then I can chain Spellbook Organization and then the Spellbook of Knowledge normally have to send away a Spellbook. Uh, but if I chain this, since it's a quick play, then I can just send this card after it's being used, you know what I mean? You're like, you get more bang for your buck. And also I can dictate which two cards I'm gonna draw here. So Spellbook and I'll send away Spellbook and then draw. Ooh, I want that time tearing. And I think I want this Witch of the Black Force. And again, we just send that away, draw two. I don't think I can win just yet. I am gonna activate time tearing Morganite though. Let's go ahead and Mustari Bon. I could just grab Witch of the Black Force because Slifer's gonna go away. I don't think I'm doing really any damage this turn. So I might as well get a card that I can keep on the field. Yeah, I'm gonna grab Witch of the Black Forest. Witch of the Black Forest onto the field. Okay, then I'm gonna play Electromagnetic Turtle. Again, I'm worried about that back row. So you know what? I'm gonna see if I can start popping off on his back row a little bit. We want Turtle in the graveyard, which will be a search for us. Go ahead and play Nightmare Phoenix. See, he can activate it before I can activate Nightmare Phoenix. Do you risk me hitting your Solemn Judgment? I'm, I'm going, ooh, okay, Solemn Warning. Sa same thing. Ding. I'll probably just grab a second Silent Magician, TBH. Yeah, let's grab that. Now, no shot, he has like a Mirror Force, right? Attack the face down first. Maybe I should have attacked the Guaranteed one first, but you know, what allows you got something actually scary? What? At least one monster from your 
deck on top of your deck. Interesting. I've never heard of you. I have never heard of you. You ugly ass bar. This looks like this looks like something that like tried out to be a Pokemon, but like didn't make it. Now we're gonna hit you, I guess. And I just found out you're playing Labyrinth. Little annoying, but okay. I'm so scared to activate card destruction, but part of me really wants to because what if I draw into revive Sky God, you know? We have to try it, don't we? Revive Sky God. God, you just, some, sometimes sometimes you're just better. All right, we're gonna set, we're gonna set. Yeah, I like that. And we got rid of his, uh. oh, we get to grab all five of these. Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness. I mean, that's good and bad. Now revive Sky God. Uh, ooh, can't even be used, question mark? Because we already have six cards in our hand? And I can special summon? Sure, why not? Why not? God, our deck is getting low. I was thinking about running this as like a 45 card deck. Wait, can I activate this before the end phase? Because if I can activate a quick play spell before... Yes, 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 yes. I'm just going to spell Book of Fate. We're banishing three of ours in the graveyard in order to banish one card of his on the field. And I think we're going to hit that. We're going to hit that back row of his. I'm going to let that resolve. Boom. Switcheroo. You control the same switch control of all... The Bro, you're ugly. Just say you're ugly. All right, now we're going to pick... If only I could play this. Because we're going to revive Sky God. We're going to draw two. Which two do I want? I guess we're going to go these two. But we have to be careful. We don't want to just blindly activate Revive Sky God for no reason. Oh, okay. You getting active? All right. He's going to get another little counter. Uh, Unless... I'm going to use it now. He put it in attack mode. You can still take damage. You can still take damage, partner. I reckon Slifer is going to beat your ass next turn. Oh, and we draw two. Good goodness goodness wait we do know our next card it's triple tactics talon right it's triple tactics talon right we know that we know this oh wow would you look at that i guessed right yes i would love to special summon my slide for the sky dragon yes <laughs> you could shuren what is this i'll let that resolve i'm about to draw Oh, oh, it feels so good. I feel evil. It's my main phase one. You know what that means? That means I can cook you. Oh, yes, please bring more out. Bring out the whole field. Thunder force attack. No! Oh! Draw! Slifer! Thunder force attack for real this time. Ha! Oh, my goodness. Oh my goodness! Oh my... Doesn't it just bring a tear to your eye? When you work so hard on something and it just ends up being so fire. That doesn't deserve a million subscribers. Come on, I don't even know what I'm at at the time that this video is being posted, but please help me achieve my goal. Just share this with like four people. Please, man! But I don't know four people. Meet them. And your first interaction with them is gonna be... Do you watch Siri X? Well, you should. Oh, brother, I got Silent Magician level eight in my starting hand. That's usually a sign of bad things to come. I will declare level 10. The only reason is because... Okay, it wasn't. Oftentimes, not oftentimes, there's this, what is it, Machina? Some level 10 deck that like specializes in sending a bunch of level 10s to the graveyard and then... Just doing stuff in the graveyard, you know what I'm saying? That's not what's happening here. It's a resonator. Oh, if that's your whole turn, you might be in trouble, partner. Oh dear, if that's your turn, you might be in trouble, partner. Oh, brother, I wish that was it. I wish that's all you had. Alex? Alex, I know you can't dribble a basketball in real life. Slifer click. Wow, lightning. You know he was expecting to get a lot more cards off of that reasoning, considering he has a 60 card deck. He was he was hoping to get like half of his deck into the graveyard just then. I'm I, like, I've dueled against Red Dragon Archfiend every once in a while, but what does this one do? Hold on. I don't read until I know it's gonna stay on the field. Cause sometimes I'd be getting like halfway through the reading and then they just summon another card. All right, I, now I know to read. Uh, once per turn, you can destroy as many monsters. As oh, that's it? I don't see quick effect. Bro, if it doesn't say quick effect, I'm not scared. All right, let me go ahead and set Witch of the Black Forest just so he can't interact with it unless he has toggle on, which he might. Now we're gonna go ahead and bring out our Silent Magician. And that's gonna search out our spell book. What, what the hell? Destroyed by battle, you can special summon. Bro, ain't nobody scared. Ain't nobody scared. 
nobody worry about that all right we're gonna go ahead and grab uh prophecy we have to be a little careful because we do want to destroy this all right we're gonna go ahead and activate judgment first and we're gonna activate knowledge okay and we're gonna send away prophecy to draw to beautiful how do i want to do about this i do kind of actually want to keep level eight in my hand let's see what's on top of our deck let's see if we can just get the perfect card on top of our deck spellbook of fate would actually be pretty good here i think we want spellbook of fate and then we can get rid of that and then no because card destruction would send away our silent magician level eight and i don't want that i can get these during my end phase anyway Ooh, i know what i'll do so let's grab time tearing morganite i have to keep in mind card destruction could definitely help him i like the fact that he's kind of bricked right now all right let's do this uh let's see if we regret this let's see if we regret this send that away we got that time tearing morganite we activate it now i don't have to worry about him crashing or anything and um end phase we get to add a couple cards so let's add a secrets spellbook of fate maybe i should have run this at two just didn't want a brick organization and you know knowledge let's just let's just keep it nice and even one two three four and actually yeah yeah let's bring out witch of the black forest defense mode and now we could just spell book of fate right now and get rid of this spell book of fate let's do it one two three banish all three of these and then we're gonna banish I'm gonna banish old boy right here <laughs> he's gone <laughs> so long partner oh man beautiful i was a little worried there but hey 60 card deck either either you win emphatically or you lose emphatically i really have to try to get to um i haven't tried to get to master yet I've gotten a diamond, obviously, but like I've gotten a diamond with Egyptian gods, but like my cap has been diamond with Egyptian gods. I want to see if I can ever get to master with Egyptian gods. Very difficult, but it would feel good. We're going straight into Long Yuan. Why? Yeah, this gets a better effect if you um summon it from the hand. I don't know. I don't play Sword Soul. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. I hope you banish every good card. Every time somebody plays Pot of Desires, in my head, I'm just like, I'm praying. Because I know with my luck, if I ever played Pot of Desires, in like, let's say I'm playing Slifer, for example, I would lose all three of my Slifers and then every single good card in my deck. But of course, you actually just drew into Long Yuan. Of course, of course, of course, of course. Just say you're a cheater. Just say you cheated. All right, uh, Baron de Fleur. That would make me, that that would bring, who the fuck is this guy? When you're born, I mean, a quick effect, banish that card. Okay, and then 1200 damage. All right, I mean, doesn't negate me. Ouch, that was a little unnecessary. Childish, little unnecessary roughness, flag on the play. That's it? Oh, you might be in trouble, partner. Dedu. Oh my gosh, can I please just draw something good? All right, we're just gonna activate Spellbook of Judgment only because then he can, you know, banish and do some damage which will then allow me to activate triple tactics thrust that's once per turn right take 1200 bait successful it still resolves by the way so we can just go ahead and triple tactics thrust let's grab spellbook of secrets do not set it spellbook of secrets activate spellbook of secrets we're gonna grab a uh, prophecy can he also do that on monsters at like are those two separate effects and he can use each I guess we'll find out right now. We're gonna grab Spellbook Organization, of course. Spellbook Organization. We don't wanna add that, that's for sure. <laughs> All right, we're gonna add that. And then we're gonna true name Black Forest. Add that to the hand. Special summon Sylvester Stallone, the Sky Dragon. Beautiful, boom. Looking good, what does he have? Does he have something or is he just lagging? What else can you do? If your opponent special summons, ooh. Hey, old dirty Doug, don't do it, bro. Don't don't banish me and do 1200. I knew I misunderstood. I played this and I was like, oh, he can't use an effect. Hey, if you just DC, I ain't even gonna be mad. Like, that's crazy. I ain't even gonna be mad if you DC right now, partner. Oh, brother, this guy sucks. Go ahead. Ow. That, that, that does hurt my feelings. I wish I could disguise it, but I, I that truly did hurt me silent magician with only 2500 i think you guys know what we're going to have to do this will also prevent us from drawing into level eight later we're gonna crash we're gonna activate and we are going to bring out 
Silent Magician level 8. And destroy this. Tired of taking this effect damage. I wish we could have done a little bit more. I might bring this back out. I'm not lying. Just because having that negate in case he gets Sword Soul Emergence, this is unaffected by spell effects, but I think I'd rather have the negate. So regretfully, I must say goodbye to level 8. It's a cool little beat stick, but uh, I think this is overall the better move. An end phase. Again, we get to just add stuff. Let's add a judgment. Let's add that. Let's add that. And let's add that. Yeah, and we're even stronger. And we can special summon. Let's bring out Witch of the Black Forest. Now, uh, what do we have? One, two. We only have two spellbook cards in our graveyard. Otherwise, I would use Spellbook of Fate. Yeah, so I'm wait, unless. Okay, let's see. Let's see how this let's see how this works. I, I getting rid of Long Yuan isn't actually it is important because he can that's his second one too and it's limited to two so let's try something let it resolve because we need three in our graveyard so boom 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 all right still end phase now we're gonna spell book of fate and we are going to simply banish long yuan partner goodbye all right i'm feeling good i'm feeling good and we have a spell in the gate so if he does get emergence a little top deck you know i'm feeling i'm feeling all right Oh, you're going to banish 10 for nothing? I mean, I got to say no to that, right? Draw two is crazy. Or do I allow it and just assume he didn't get anything? Nah, that's draw two. We got to say no to the draw two. Could be bait. He could have emergence just sitting in his hand, but maybe he banished everything that emergence can even get, you know? Half of your deck has been banished, surely. And you had Moye in your hand. Well, to be fair, I wasn't going to stop Moye anyway. And Vishuda. Ooh, that could be. It could be rather annoying, I'm not going to lie. All right, he's gonna bring out uh, Zhao, Zhao, C-H-I-O, whatever, A-C-H-C-H-I-A-O. Yeah, this guy. <laughs> Grandmaster is what we will call him. And then uh, he could just negate Silent Magician and then punch it. And I don't have another level eight, so it would just be gone. Surely, bro, I, I'm just gonna be mad if he has, if he still has everything. You know what I mean? You banish 20 cards. The whole point of Pot of Desires is to be, uh, you know, uh, the big risk. Ooh, Sword Soul Blackout. We can also play around it. You had an emergence. There's no way. Oh man, and Protos. Brother had everything left. Oh no, he doesn't bring out Protos. And you're not gonna activate Grandmaster? Oh wow. Okay. You're kinda you're kinda selling. You could activate a Grandmaster, negated Silent Magician. You'd have been in a decent spot, I feel. If I just don't play two cards, then he can't activate Blackout. However, is there any way I can get Slifer out? This thing can negate, so I almost want to force that negate so I can play my game. Ugh, but then that means we don't win this turn. We're gonna take damage here, but it is necessary. So we can get the negate off the field. Okay, this is going to hurt me. We are banking a lot on this working, by the way, because right now I have nothing to get Slifer out, but I'm banking on the top three cards in my deck being something that can help. All right, we're gonna chain organization. We got Turtle. Don't love this. Don't love this at all. Can't believe I lost to the worst Sword Soul player on planet Earth. I think we lose. We're just gonna have to throw uh, this up and hope he just attacks with this. <laughs> That's probably not gonna be the case. We should have ran two Judgments. I just grabbed two of the same cards, by the way, because I thought I could grab three. Yeah, I don't think there's any point in special summoning. Oh, wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <gasps> oh! All right, now I do think I'm gonna special summon just to mill out the deck. I don't wanna draw this later. But since we have seven cards in our hand, we can send away Electromagnetic Turtle and we still have a chance as long as he doesn't get out Barone de Floor, which I don't think he can do. Hopefully he didn't notice that. Hopefully he didn't notice that. <laughs> Hopefully he didn't notice my sleight of hand turtle dump into the graveyard. Is he doing it? Is he doing the... Uh... <laughs> The thing, the thing where he's BMing, he's just using effects just to, just to kind of rub it in, thinking that this duel is over, but not realizing that it's far from over. And by far from over, I mean I have one more chance. No! 
I'm just gonna turtle right away. My cards are gonna stick around a little bit longer, partner. My cards are gonna stick around a little bit longer, partner. Come on, end your turn. Just end your turn, come on. I don't got all day. Come on, end your turn, end your turn. Oh, go away, Vashuda. What is the point of returning this to the hand? What is the point? Uh, banish this, target one, banish worm, and add it to your hand. Okay, uh, what is that? Long Yuan? Oh, thank God I used Turtle. Oh, he's gonna bring out Barone to floor though. Oh, that's not good. Then he still has Blackout face down. We have to be wary of that. Then he can still also go into another Synchro card. Okay, 1200, that sucks. And we're gonna be down to 1000 life points and a dream. All right, heart of the cards moment. Come on. Heart of the cards, guide me. That is not what I need. Why are you using that frame one? What is the point? You're using it on, on what? On my card that can't do anything right now? As a clown, clown shoes. Okay, doesn't do anything. Doesn't do anything. You're not doing anything. Oh my God, this is taking so long. Hurry up. This can't be real. What are you doing? You're getting rid of your negate? Why are you ruining this good duel? By just blindly saying yes to every effect that you get, you're negating your own effect. All right, like, like I, I thought I was gonna have to come up with like some cool elaborate way to handle all of this, but clearly that's just not the case. And I'm kind of disappointed. It's just spell book of knowledge. Go ahead, burn your blackout too. It actually might be smart. Unless, no, cause I can't send another spell. That actually might've worked. That actually might be a good play. Yeah, I have nothing to discard. Okay. I don't even know what I can search. Oh, Silent Magician, duh. Do I have another Silent Magician? I sure hope so. These have some, oh, Silent Magician. Oh yes. And now you're truly cooked because you're a dunce. You threw, you fumbled the bag and you threw and I don't know why. Now you can't activate any spells. Back to you. Duel should be over. I thought I would be able to have a nice spicy slice for the Sky Dragon finish, but good Lord, I just couldn't draw anything. Ah, oh, God. Sword Soul cards can just always do things and it makes me, makes me angry. Stop fighting. Lose. Oh, what does this do? Do I lose? In this card, a single summon target cards on the field up to the number of different original attributes. Bro. Oh my God. I'm so mad. How'd I lose to this bum? Bro banished 20 cards from his deck and I still lost. That's crazy. Bro banished 20 cards, only had nine cards in his extra deck, is the worst duelist of all time and still won. That's insane. In in insanity. Ban this card. Ban this card. Any card that beats me deserves to be banned. Can you attack the turn that you do that? You shouldn't be able to. I'll never lose again. <laughs> <laughs> Ever! He only has three cards in the extra deck. Is this a bot? All right, let's go ahead and play Witch of the Black Forest. A few moments later. Nice, man. All right, that was a bot. <clears throat> Next duel. All right, let's try this again. I do like how things look. Let's start by playing Spellbook of Judgment. I'm here to judge you. Go ahead, Chain Maxi, Pussy. Ashy Blossom, you whore. A little annoying, I'm not gonna lie. But I'm gonna be even more annoying. Witch of the Black Forest. You guys know where this is going. The Magician of Silence is on the way. Now let's play Spellbook of Knowledge and let's chain Spellbook Organization. All right, I would like, ooh, he did activate Ash Blossom. And I can't play the card that I grabbed this turn. Probably Spellbook of Secret, actually Foolish Burial. Then I can make sure I get Slifer in the graveyard next turn. Let's see how long this lasts us. Let's see how the Secret Village holds up. Let's hope that our opponent is playing a lot of spells. It's a 60 card deck. Ah, that's a good sign. That's a good sign. Did you think you could play that spell? I'm sorry. This is a secret village where only spellcasters can play spells. <gasps> You're playing spellcasters. Well, that's not. <laughs> oh, brother, this guy's gonna do stuff. Get your licks in. Yeah, you enjoy that while you can because now I'm unbrickable. 
because I call forth my silent magician level eight pussy. Ah, now I don't even have to worry about dark magical circle. I mean, I do kind of because he can still banish my other stuff, but <clears throat> it can't banish this. We're gonna have to get rid of this though ASAP because this can definitely boost up his cards to be strong enough to get over silent magician. Deru. Perfect. Oh man, this is this is this is feeling good. Send away the Slifer, the Sky Drago. I'm not gonna use this yet, because I can't win yet. I don't want to bring out, but the cards I draw could give me the victory. All right, we're gonna set. And I'm going for it! Revive Sky God! I call for Slifer the Sky Dragon, pussy! And I draw six. He gets to draw five though, so I'm really banking on being able to beat him right now. <laughs> All right, you know what? Maybe he drew into a Max C or an Ash Blossom or something. Because if he did, then we can we can we can go wild. We can go wild. All right, let's see. It's just gonna weaken my Slifer though for the time being. So we have to be a little careful. No, oh, he has nothing. Oh, that kind of sucks. I kind of I kind of wanted him to have something. Let's grab Spellbook of Knowledge. Let's play Spellbook Magician. He has no hand traps. I was really counting on him having hand traps. Okay, let's grab that. All right, let's play this and let's chain organization. Take judgment and Witch of the Black Forest, I guess, and send that away. We just send that away, then we can get Monster Reborn. Hold on, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. There's gotta be a way to win this game right now. Let me cook a little bit, let me cook a little bit. All right, let's do Nightmare Phoenix right here. Do we use the effect on that back row? Am I scared of that back row? I don't think I am, but this freak might have what do you say, fuck like me mirror for? force, which concerns me just a little bit. I'm not going to do it just in case. I need more cards in my hand, obviously, for Slifer to be at his peak performance. Monster Reborn out Slifer. Ah! Now, math. Still not enough, but if I get rid of this, I really want to win right now. I just don't think I can. Let us banish. Let us banish a card. Get rid of Tamias. We're still short 1400 damage. Ugh. Ah. I really wanted to win. As much as I wanted to. And you have, what do you have? What do you have? What the fuck? Oh, we definitely weren't going to win yet. Special summon one dark spellcaster with attack less than or equal to. Okay. Oh, you whore. Discard one spell or trap. Special summon one dark magician from your deck. Oh, my God. <laughs> You're weakened, pussy. I'll cash out on the damage. I need him to control a monster for tactics thrust to be able to go off. So let's go ahead and do this. Time tearing Morganite, maybe? Actually, I'll take Revive Sky God. Let's just let's just set that because Slifer's leaving. And then naturally, we are going to empty our hand as much as possible. Unfortunately, that's going to be where the old turn ends. Unless let's empty our hand even more. Slifer's leaving anyway, so let's Nightmare a Unicorn. Um, activate. Send away Wish of the Black Forest, so we have an empty hand. So we can draw even more. Let's end our turn, All right? He has one, two, and then we get to add so many cards to our hand. Special summon a monster, sure. All right, toggle on. Right when he plays a card, boom. Revive Sky God. You get to draw one, I get to draw three. Fair trade. Put it in defense mode, I draw three. Ba -da -ba -da -ba. Beat that loser. And you have no spells. If you play a monster, if you play a weak spellcaster, Slifer's gonna blow it up. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. Luckily, he couldn't play like Dark Magical Circle because uh, he doesn't control a spellcaster. Bring out the Dork Magician. Bring him forth. Put him in attack mode. I dare you, idiot, dummy. You're too weak now. Look at you, pathetic. Well, that could be a problem. One, two, three, four, five. Dean Tet Magician is a card. He will be nerfed. He will be weakened. But I'm pretty sure he blows up my entire field, right? I don't love that. I don't love that for me. One, two, three. Yep, Dean Tet Magician requires five spellcasters. Then he blows up the whole field. Wait, he only blows up the whole field if uh, they're all different, right? Yeah, if they're all different names. Never mind. You still, no you're, you're still nothing. You're a joke. You should have went in defense mode. Reveal one. All right, bro. You're just doing stuff now. Bro, that card is gone. Get that card off of my field. Get that card off of my field. I am literally Slifer. There is a second mouth. You you are being cautious of the first mouth. What about the second one, partner? That's fine. That's fine. 
Unicorn was here for a good time, not a long time, you know, I. Right at the end, I will chain this and then I will get Monster Reborn directly into my hand on top. Deadu. Wow. Now I can just immediately bring back Slifer and uh, <laughs> send you to the shadows. Wait, wait, wait. Oops, that would have been a huge mistake. Monster Reborn. Destroy all cards in the controller's deck with the same name. I have one. You just activated that on a card that's limited to one. There's no way. There's no way. Slime for the Sky Dragon! Yes! With a bolstering 7,000 attack. What the f is this guy? And if you do, during the end phase of this turn, there will be no end phase. Attack! Slime for the Sky Dragon! Ha! Yes. Ah, ah, ah. All right, and that's gonna do it for the uh, three Egyptian God cards, the updated revamped version of their decks. Again, I have made God card decks many times before, but uh, I tried to do something different with all three of them this time around. So if you missed any of them, make sure to go check them out. They'll be linked down in the description somewhere. But if you guys would like to see me make a deck with all three of the Egyptian God cards, again, I'll try to be unique again, somehow. Let me know and uh, make sure to subscribe for that. And if this video gets like, I don't know, 20,000 likes, well, I'll, I'll just, I'll have no choice but to do it. <laughs> Nevertheless, gas, my outro was playing, whoa!